So, you know, I'm thinking about a Queen song. I think it goes something like this. I'm going slightly mad. I'm going slightly mad. Because I saw Slender Man. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Movie Emporium's review of Slender Man, the newest horror film by Sylvia White, who directed The Losers, also starring Joey King, Julia Goldani Tellez. Okay, guys, let's do this. So the story is about Slender Man, the fictional character who, when you when you call him, he takes your soul, takes your body. He's like the Pied Piper, that kind of thing. So these girls, kind of like The Ring this movie rips off the ring they summon him by watching a video which tore, which inject, infects their mind because they call it a virus and we get our story of how these girls are being chased after the slender man so i want to get this out of, out, out of the way first the story of slender man is pretty terrible like the idea of slender man is terrible but then we had this incident like a couple years ago with three girls you know who were you know, killed off, or they they were trying to summon Slenderman, so they stabbed the girl. So this movie should have just never been made. So I don't understand it. It's like it has such a stigmata about it now. But so, anyways, we get this cliched horror film about a creature. You know, you see in the ring, you've seen in Grudge, you've seen all this, and this movie is stupid. This movie sucks. That's all you can say about it. It's about three, four idiot girls. Who do something stupid and they're gonna pay the price for it that's all you need to know and i fell asleep through this movie because it's boring there's not much that happens in this movie the horror elements are terrible there's like some stuff in there that's supposed to be horrifying but it's just straight out hilarious i mean this movie is awful and from the director of the losers which wasn't a great movie but it was a fun movie this movie has no fun to it there should be fun had in horror films you watch uh, The Grudge, or The Ring, or Sinister, or Drag Me to Hell, these films are fun. This movie's not fun. It's like that uh, other Joey King movie, The You Wish, or something like that. I didn't see it, but I heard that movie's the same way. It's not fun. Which means, when the sequel to Slender Man comes out, it's going to be a great movie, because apparently the crappy horror films that get sequels, they apparently end up being good films, but... Yeah, so Joey King... You know, she started out well, but now she's on these two crappy horror films. So I don't, I know she's young. She'll probably bounce back, but I don't know what they're thinking in this movie. This movie is awful. There's nothing redeeming about it. Slender Man looks terrible. He looks like a CGI character. You know, the actresses are, I guess they're doing what the best they can with the script. I'm not even, there's nothing to spoil about this movie because you know what's going to happen at the end. You know that Slender Man is going to have his victims because... Unlike the stuff in The Grudge or stuff like The Ring, you can't pass this along. It's a virus, as they call it. It's like, I have some cold or HPV, whatever it is, but this movie sucks. I mean, I don't want to waste your guys' time with it. Don't go see this movie. If you see it on TV, watch it. But I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to go in. I mean, I don't think I heard one scream come out from the jump moments in this movie, and there's tons of them. Um, the people that disappear, you don't really care about because they don't have any structure to them there's no reason for them so i mean yeah this movie's terrible <laughs> it's absolutely terrible you know if you like slender man watch beware the slender man and you'll realize there should have been never a slender man movie so but yeah that's pretty much all i have to say on it joey king you're a great actress do something better um jo julia godani tell us do something better do just do something better ah, i feel so bad for you guys you guys, you guys need to hire better agents or something because these horror films aren't doing it. Be like Happy Death Day. That's what this movie should have been like, Happy Death Day, because that movie's fun. And that movie's a riot, even though it's a terrible movie. So, but with that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, remember to rate, subscribe, tell us what you think. Uh, email us at endlapola138 at gmail.com. Comment, subscribe, YouTube, all that good stuff. So with that, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. So we'll see you guys later, okay? Peace. Thank you.